You gotta see that show at Radio City. Terrific, huh? She's gonna be a rockette now. <sighs> you didn't tell him. Tell me what? Um, I'm gonna go to Syracuse. For what? The university I applied early admission and they accepted me. Her first application and she's in. When did all this happen? Well, Jean knew. We talked about it. About Syracuse? About me going to college. To Queens, to St. John, Syracuse. That's, that's 300 miles away. It's five hours on the bus, and what difference does it make? The difference between living away and living at home. I don't know. Am I wrong? To me, that's a difference. She's not a child, John. Oh, really? When did this happen? Oh, Daddy. Never mind, oh, Daddy. All right. You look sharp. Killed that girl. Now what? 
or in a bar. I'm sorry, I'm not going to play. It's late and I'm tired and I have to work in the morning. Every time I think I've heard of Paul, you come up. I gotta go to the dentist. I want Eileen to go away. Betty, you're never gonna convince me. I'm leaving you. I thought we was... Uh... We were what? Doing great? Well, not great, but better. Fine. You're a good, decent man. My friends think I'm lucky. I'm going to be 40 years old. I know women who've survived that. You're going to be late. The point is, it's better if she's away. What are you going to do? Come home and cook dinner for her? I got to get in. Yeah. Well, can we discuss this tonight? I'll get home early. Good morning. What did you do after I left last night? You came in looking like you'd been with Napoleon on his retreat from Moscow. Alan. Oh, I know you did something naughty. I killed that girl. You're not gonna start with that. I killed her. And the papers, the television, they're keeping it a secret. I have to go to Florida. You know why? Because they despise violence. They hate like hell to make a big thing out of it. You don't want to help me? You don't want to help me? Say it! Say it! Say you don't want to help me! I'm going to help you. You want to go to Florida? Go. <laughs> My God. Forget the bathroom. Right. Happy New Year, John. Happy New Year. Hey, shouldn't I get hold of you? Why don't you get a nickname? I'm calling her. You know who she is? Mary Alice Nolan. Her apartment. Stab wounds, neck and abdomen. The teeth marks of her left nipple. How long she been in the building? About a year. Quiet. So far, no friends, but... Well, most of the apartments are on home. You! What are you doing? Nothing. I was just... What do you mean, nothing? I get your just... hands... Get your hands off it. Yeah. Get on the wrong side. How many times have I told you don't bring your troubles to the job? Anything I can do? No one. You live alone? Looks like it. Family? Don't know yet. Who found it? The super. He had a phone call. Somebody where she works. Wanted to know if Andy was wrong. 
Where'd she work? According to the stupid, she didn't say. The one who called. Get the names on those. I'll take the sheets. What's your name? Oscar. And then get to you. you. Want some coffee, something like that? Well, thanks. I'm floating now. Do any good in there? Do you get any friends? Not so far. This one could get big. You might, you know, say to your people, all out on this one. Happy New Year, Jack. You too, John. I'm Brasser, Steve Maselli. Anytime, day and night. Okay. Oh, and Steve, you want to do that? Yep. Do that. Okay. Send it in. You got it. Oh, and there was something looked like vomit on the stairway. All right, I'll come to get a sample. Okay. Lieutenant Belden, this is Detective Grafton. Those of you from other precincts, welcome. Now, this is the first homicide of the year. You know what they do with that. They make a meal out of it. So let's get with it, huh? Divine, Wilson? You. You got West 71st Street, south side, from Central Park West to Columbus, numbers 2 through 28. Elliot, Goldrap, you got the north side, 71st Street. I'm a police officer. There's been a crime in the neighborhood, and I'd like to ask you some questions. Uh, I don't know anything. Thank you. Hello? Police, there's been a crime in the neighborhood. I'd like to ask you some questions. I don't know anything. It's an epidemic. As soon as I get settled. And about the baby. Sure. This is for you. Your ticket. Thank you. Thanks for everything. So, the next time you want to take off, I mean, don't feel like you have to make up some crazy. What did you say your name was? Mary Alice Nolan. I think I made it up.
Safe enough. School teacher, quiet. I wonder why she wasn't living at home. They leave. She let him in, huh? Or came home with him. So she wasn't the Virgin Mary. How do you know she wasn't going to give him a cup of coffee and lend him a book? Flags, single joint. Bartender thinks she might have been in for a poetry reading. Popeye? It was in the apartment. Might have been done the night of the murder. Where did she teach? We're still looking for that. And for her family. Yeah, they mustn't know. They're always going to kill people. You've only got one family. Yeah. No, no, John. I mean it. You go on home. Get some rest. I will. Hey. Tell those two beautiful ladies of yours I said hello. We do. We go ahead. Thought it was nice of you to call. Huh? Photograph of the victim. Standard size. Probably some kind of graduation. Crucifix, about four inches. Looks like silver on wood. Check with the parish. A toy animal. Teddy bear. Fuzzy. No label. Magazine. Sandalwood, maybe, about uh, four by three by two, two and a half. Asian Novelty Company. It's a music box. A couple of stamps, 37 cents, and a, a hand thing. What do you call it? Uh, Sharpener. Hello. I must have the wrong number. I'm looking for Marianne Nolan. Uh, she's not here right now. What, what do you, uh, is she, um, do you expect her? Oh, yeah. Uh, she'll be right back. Uh, she just stepped out. You want to give me your name? I'll tell you a call.
said that you guys were separated. Did she tell you why? Try something new. You love each other, don't you? I, I haven't been the best husband in the world. I, I don't know whether you know that. I guess I've known for a long time that when you got ready to leave home, it was going to shake things up. Or... We were talking. I was trying to explain. Why, you don't want her to go away to college? She's too young. No. It's because you don't want things to get shaken up. Can't you see that? A girl was murdered last night. A school teacher. Is that what you want to be? Where did it happen? Not in an alley, not out on the street, in her apartment. She lives alone. She has a right to live her own life, John. So did Mary Alice Nolan. So did they. Star, that's new this year? Daddy. Yeah? We had that, huh? Since I was in the ninth grade. comment from the White House to these latest developments, but it has been learned that the President is scheduling a news conference later in the week. In local news, police report the first murder in the city this year. The victim, a woman identified as Mary Alice Nolan. A spokesman for the medical examiner's office says the woman was stabbed 17 times. Police are looking for the sadistic killer. Turning to the weather, the weatherman says...
Jason! Cut it off! Will you? I'm gonna do, get arrested. I'm gonna get my cousin's stuff out of there before you guys do something to it. Okay, okay, okay. You want something in there? Do me a favor. Let me take you over to the station house and go talk to the detectives, okay? Where did your cousin teach? She taught in the Bronx. Not like, you know, best kid. I was wondering if uh, you knew about anybody, any, you know, a uh, special friend of your cousin's. Uh, was she seeing anybody, like, you know, on a regular basis? You guys had him. You had him and you let him go. Had who? Johnson, Trick Johnson. You put him in jail, you let him out, and he killed her. Oh, oh, slow down. My, my cousin had this big fight with him. This black guy. I don't know. He, he took something of her, something like that. She told the cops, and he went to jail. And when he came out, he, you know, he, like, threatened her. He said he was going to get her. Hey, John, John, is it true you got a suspect? How could it be true if you guys don't know about it? Yes, he's checking the celly, 8919. Orion Johnson, you want to pull the folder for me? Yes, A-U-R-E-O-N. I'll be down to pick it up. Hey, Steve, you're up next for a vacation. You want to pick? Later, man. contact with Mary Alice? Like, you know, like on a social level, or was it only work? We tried developing a friendship. Didn't get very far. Any special reason? Doesn't always work. Are you a real detective? I don't know. This just seems so dumb. When you go around, you ask little questions, and then what? What do you do with the answers? File them away in some humongous warehouse somewhere? Have you actually solved the murder? Did she ever talk to you about a guy named Johnson? Do we really have to play this game? I mean, can't we just agree that Mary Alice is a... She's a statistic. I mean, on the scale of human tragedy, that poor little girl hardly even shows up. Two days from now, nobody's going to remember her name. Johnson, did she ever... No. Boy, you just go straight ahead, don't you? What do they do, wind you up and point you? I'm sorry. I don't know why. 
No, I do not remember her mentioning any doctor. He may have threatened her. She was responsible for his going to jail. A black guy. Oh. Yes. About a week before Christmas, she was going to call the... Oh, my God. I told her not to bother. Do you think that he could be the... Do you really care what I think? Or about her? Hey, I don't like the game woman as a victim. B, Mary Alice was a friend of mine. You will forgive me for thinking that I have more reason to care than you do. Excuse me. Thank you. Okay, settle down. Settle down. This is Johnson, Ori and Leonard. Now, we know we assaulted her. That was back in uh, May, May of last year. He swore out a complaint. He picked up a camera. I told him to put it down. He refused, and I tried to take the camera away from him. He hit me twice, causing me to become dizzy and to bleed from the nose. Then he left with my camera. John. Yeah, I got a witness backs up what the cousin says. Sometime within the last couple of weeks, uh, Mary Alice talked about uh, being bothered by a man who gave her trouble once before. Uh, I guess some pictures. And I think Steve has some... Uh... Yeah, I set up a special number. 555-4622. 5554 five, 622. What I thought was we'd give it out. Everybody. Tell them whatever they call in with, we keep confidential. They don't have to say who they are, anything like that. Just tell us where we can find Johnson. That's the ball game. Now, this looks real good. It sure couldn't be more when we need it. On account of with the publicity and all, the heat is definitely on. So, let's locate Johnson and bring him in, huh? Okay. Sure. Belden, you remember me? Oh, hi. Hi. How are you? Good. Well, your dad's out. I know. They, they told me when I came in. Well, come on. You wait for him in my office. Oh, no, that's fine. I'm really, I'm, I'm good. Come on, around here, I'm the boss. Are you come with me. Johnson. Trick Johnson. Where is he, Junior? Cops all over the set, man. Trick Johnson. He's bad, but he ain't that bad. Hey, we decided to bad guy. 
I'll call you at 2 o'clock to be there. What time is it done? You're wasting time, Junior. Anybody who calls where he is. Even if you know he's upstairs sleeping one off. So I don't know why I'm surprised. I mean, the divorce rate in this business is a scandal. John Grafton's the old school. By rights, he should have been living at the YMCA a long time ago. Do you think you could say anything to him? Say to him. I'll do what I can. Thank you. Talk to me. He's up on a roof. What roof? Sixth Street. 831. What's the matter with you, man? Well, get him out of here. You recognize that guy? Yeah, I think so. Okay, step back. Okay. John? Lieutenant? Yeah.
Mr. Escobar, he's a doorman. How are you, Mr. Escobar? I just, uh, you just had a look at him. You've seen him. You recognize the man in that room? Yeah. You've seen him at the building where you work? Yeah. Did you see him with Mary Ellis? No. Yeah, I think so. Well, now, which is it, Mr. Escobar? Yeah, or I think so. Well, you know, I mean, uh... Yeah, I've seen them. When? How long ago? When did I see them? Yeah, well, we're talking approximately. I mean, you see them last week, last month, last year, what? Well, she goes up there with so many guys, they'll talk to them. Yeah, uh, Miss Sully, why don't you get down the hall, find an empty room, sit them down, get them to talk to you, find out when you saw them together, uh, were they friends, uh, was he working around the apartment, or whatever. Okay, Lieutenant. Let's go. Hey, look, I see a lot of people now. How am I supposed to remember? This ain't the reading room of the public library, you know. Hey, you guys eat yet? Okay, wait for me. I got one for you. Hey, all right, John. Good job. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Out of way to go, John. Thanks, Jerry. Hey, Tom. Go a little well, eh? John, nice going. Thanks, Wes. See your name in the newspaper? No, oh, it's out of fact. Yeah. What nice going? The way they're carrying on, you think she was Mary Poppins. What's that supposed to mean? Well, you know me, John. I don't judge. Equal justice for all, right? Regardless of race, creed, color, sexual preference, kinky habits. Kinky habits? Mary Alice? Nah. Turtles don't do it in lily ponds, either. Is that right? What the? What the hell's eating you? What the hell's eating you? I must have the wrong number. I'm looking for Mary Ann Norman. Is she not here right now? I waited a couple of minutes on the off chance that, uh... uh this is Mr. Bouillet. Hi. John Grafton. I'm a husband. Ah. <laughs> nice guy. Well, it's late. I... I'll call you tomorrow. Pleasure. Same here. Take it easy. Nice. Sure. Thanks. Coming in? You don't waste any time. I don't believe you. You're jealous. Think so? You're jealous. I'll tell you one thing. It's real weird sitting outside your own house waiting for your wife to come home from a date.
Who's pretty acy? Do you want tea? <laughs> no, thanks. I don't think I have to answer that, do I? You weren't really sitting out there waiting to catch me with... <sighs> with a man. Why not? Why not? Because you don't give a darn what I do. Do you have a sheet on me? No. How come? Because I don't believe in that. Because you don't want to hurt me. Did you ever do anything about that tooth? I will. They got a guy uh, on the Nolan thing. Oh, yeah, I read. That's wonderful. It's great. I'm not sure he's the one killed the girl. And? You know how they are. Nice going John, good work John. This and that. Did you tell anybody how you feel? Yeah. That's what you do. Tell them. You don't like it, stop. Asking questions? Yeah, right. I don't know. Maybe they can make it stick the guy we got. Is that the point? Yeah, it's something you want. Thanks, sir. You look tired. Do you want to stay here tonight? Look a little rosy in there, John. You bet he been out celebrating last night. I'm not living at home right now. Oh, no, don't tell me that. It happens. Things change. My mother, she was home before I was born. She was home the whole time me and my sisters was in the house. And when we left, you know what? She's still home. And you think, hey, it's good enough for my mother, it's good enough for my wife. You want to know something, Lou? I really don't. Well, you feel that way about it. What, what's the problem? Well, no problem. She wants to try something new. That's the way it is. You want to know something else, though, Lou? You think you know all about this, that. You know what? Maybe you don't. Sounds like you're trying awful hard to look on the bright side of this thing. Uh, I'll give you an example of what I'm getting at. The Mary Alice Nolan case. Uh, you know what they're saying. But what's the evidence, Lou? Johnson threatened her, period. Keep going. The bartender at Flags. He's pretty sure she left with a white guy. Yeah, and the doorman says he saw Johnson with the girl. You want to call the doorman as a witness? Two minutes. The fence will have him admitting he was out calling his bookmaker. Right now, Johnson's the best we got. I think we can do better. If I could just find that guy who made that drawing. Popeye. <laughs> Thank you. 
You got a minute? Uh, I really don't. I'm late. I, I was beginning to think that maybe you were taking a day off. I had a dentist appointment. Oh, yeah? You have a good dentist? Everybody thinks they're the best dentist in the world, you know that. I got this problem. You wouldn't want to give me the name of your guy, would you? Sure. It's Sarah Fleischman. She's in the book. No kidding. A lady dentist. Which means she has to be twice as good as everybody else. Hey. Would you excuse me? I really have to go. Now, I know you're not going to believe this, Miss Kay, but I didn't come up here to get the name of your dentist. Uh, we found this in Mary Alice's apartment, and I was wondering if maybe she said to you sometime uh, that she had this friend who was a terrific artist or something. I think I might have met him. Yeah? Yeah. Mary Alice and I were having lunch one day. This was, oh, right before Christmas vacation. And the guy stopped by and said hello. He seemed like they were friends. Anyway, after he left, he told me that he was an artist. He said he did a picture of her one night in the discotheque for ten bucks. He hated it so much, he tore it up. If you saw him again, would you recognize him? I might. I probably. You want to help me out? I'm trying to find him. Why? Why help me out? Why do you want to find him? I thought her murder was solved. How am I going to fill up that warehouse, Miss Gay? You don't want them bureaucratic gears to stop grinding. I don't really give a damn, mister. Grafton. You don't give a damn, but you're going to help on account of your highly developed sense of civic duty. Where I'm going tonight after I take you home? Where? I'm going to school. You are. Why not? Is that what happens to you when you live alone? All of a sudden you're a swinger? Some swinger. <laughs> I'll tell you something. After 19 years, what I mean to say, if I met a woman, uh, you know, like, uh, you know what I do, I'd probably read her her rights. I don't believe that. Uh, that's because I'm your father and you think I'm the best. Like with them. <laughs> oh, congratulations. what I do? I read in the paper that you caught the man that killed that girl. Don't believe everything you read in the paper. Do me a favor, will you, kid? Stay home. You don't know what it's like out there. You can't stay home forever. Don't. At your age, you get cocky. Nothing can touch you. Hey. Don't kid yourself. Have I been so off? That's you know, not the point. I... Now tell me, I want to know what I've done. Nothing. Then why, can, why can't you trust me? Trust you to what? Take care of yourself? Yeah. Come on. Why? I'm not Mary Alice Nolan, Daddy. Do you know who Mary Alice Nolan was? Before she left home, I'm talking about. Except for baby being a little older, there wasn't that much difference between you and Mary Alice. You know that? What do you think she wants? She liked the same records you liked. Same magazine, same kind of clothes. Her parents and your grandmother live about, I don't know, five blocks away from each other. So, you know, uh, I, I mean, I, I know you're a smart girl, but... Uh, so why did she leave home? I'll tell you this much. Her father's been asking himself that same question.
I guess you can get anything you can think of in this place. Have uh, brandy and give me a scotch with a little water. A couple of years ago, I would have locked that guy up. I'm glad you don't have to. Not particularly. When you look around, you look at these people. Outside people are hurting each other, killing each other. You want to lock them up? Boy, oh boy. You sure are a cop. Hey, what are you doing? Yeah, for my drink, you mind? Can I pay for your drink? No. Can the city pay for your drink? No. Any time. You got a guy in here drawing pictures of people for a drink, a couple of dollars? I don't know. I'm new here. I'll follow you.
about it. I'm tired. Tired? Look at him. That's fun. You mean you're not having fun? No. Donnie's house. I only got one lady coming to me. Got a tattoo. Yeah, the fourth is done. See what you've been missing? I'm too old. Poor old man. I should be in the shape you're in. All that exercise you get looking for innocent people to harass. So tired. You gotta keep up. Cops are in there. People are scared, you know that. Cops are the good guys. That's where I come from. Oh, yeah? My father was a union officer. He still thinks that all cops are good for is busting the heads of honest working people. Well, at least you come by it honest. I bet I'd like you, old man. I doubt it. Could I ask you something? Sure. When you went to college, uh, did you live at home? Or? I went away to school. I lived in a dorm. What? Well, I got a daughter. She wants to go away. Well, that's not exactly the end of the world. Has she behaved your father? No. Well, never. She'll be all right. How long have you and your wife been separated? Not long. You grow up playing cops and robbers. That's the game, right? So now it's still the game, only give you a gun, shoot real bullets, badge, red light. What could be more fun than that? I mean, who wants it? Kids, arguing, tight. Hell, what's going on? When you got married, did she know that those were the rules? We were kids. That was the game, too. House. We played. You are a good guy. I won't tell your father you said that. I'll call you if that guy comes in. That's a hydrant. Yeah, I know. Twenty years ago, more. I used to sit just like this outside girls' houses. How come I don't know what to do now no more than I did then? Boy, are you beautiful. I didn't know they made men like you anymore. Old fashioned. Oh. So old fashioned. Mm. You gonna find a legal place to park this thing? Oh. 
all of a sudden I'm a loose woman, huh? Oh, you silly boy. Do I feel sorry for your daughter? Where are you going? Get out of my way, please. Oh, shut up. Oh, what are you going to do? Hit me? There it is, isn't it? I knew it. I knew it. All that cop stuff. I just... What do you want from me? I don't know. I don't know. Something. But you got to get something, too, and I don't know. Uh... Man, I need a drink. You got it. You know, you make them look about 97% better than they really look, and they all, I swear, every one of them says the same thing. Oh, my, is that what I look like? Oh, no, it's not what they look like. Hey, Sonny, did you draw this? Hey, where'd you get that? You remember anything about it? Like, uh, did you draw it for somebody? John Grafton. Hi. I'm with the police department. Police? Well, well, what's going on? No, nothing. We, like, found this, and we're checking it out. Uh, who drew it? Uh, who's got it? Like that. Oh, I don't know. When did I do this? Uh, it's not do you, bad. Do you, do you remember uh, who you made it for? Oh! As a matter of fact, it was in here. I was kidding around with a couple of guys one night. I pretended like I was sketching one of them. I handed them this, you know, a giggle. I bet the girl got a kick out of it. Yeah. Well, no, no girl. There were these two guys. They said they were brothers. But being an artist and all, what do you think? You probably even remember what they look like, the two guys. Absolutely. Were they black or white? No, I, I've got it. First time I get the feeling you're uh, working me for a couple of drawings. Huh? Possible? <laughs> You think you could come down in the morning, we'll show these to a police artist, get, the, you know, like an official version. Police artist? Yeah, I know. You come down now, huh? Sure. Okay, got it. Okay, let me repeat that. 632140. All right. Relax, lady. It happens all the time. We'll get there as soon as we can. Just be patient. All right. Goodbye. See you later, Jerry. Okay, John, take it easy. Yeah, uh, he said that uh, you work around the corner in the restaurant. 
Uh -huh. I was wondering maybe uh, you've seen them, one of them, both of them. Oh, oh bless you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah? No kidding, you recognize them? Uh-huh. This one picked up the cat. He was a nice man, Big Pepper. When was this? Uh, about a week ago, something like that. You, uh, you wouldn't know who they are. No. Well, listen, uh, I may have to ask you some more questions. Uh, could you give me your name? Vanessa Blaski. Well, thanks a lot, Miss Blaski. <laughs> um, listen, everybody pays with credit cards. Does that help? Thank you very much, Miss Blaski. <laughs> credit card. How about we split up? Start with the ones who are closest to Mary Allen. Okay? Well, give me a copy of that sketch, will you? Arthur, Alan Cahill here. I wonder if, if I could come over. I'm in trouble. Yeah, thanks. You see, the thing is, Mr. Cahill, I mean, uh, you agree that this picture looks like you? Agree? Uh, look, nobody wants to play. I mean, obviously, it's his picture or somebody who looks a heck of a lot like him. The point is, so what? Well, let me try to explain. Now, this drawing was made by an artist. He drew it because he told Detective Grafton he had given uh, another drawing of his to two men. Detective Grafton asked what they looked like. Now, the reason he wanted to know that is that this other picture was found at the scene of the crime. Do you uh, see the connection? No. The person that had this other picture is somebody we'd like to talk to. Maybe they can help us find out who committed the murder. Do you know anything about another picture? The picture
Speaker of what? Popeye. Popeye? Do you know anything about a picture of Popeye, the sailor man? It was Marianne Nolan, wasn't it? How'd you know that, Mr. Cahill? I don't know. I, I guess I read about it in the papers. About Popeye? Hold it. Hold it. Say that again, will you? What you just said? What? What you said a minute ago. Why? It was Mary Ann Nolan. Isn't that what you said? What? You mean instead of Mary Alice? Come on. Tell me. Who do you think this sounds like to you, Mr. Cahill? I'm looking for Mary Ann Nolan. Oh, God. Anybody could say that. That was his voice. What the hell is he supposed to have done? Killed her, then called her up? Nobody said he killed her. He'll never forgive me, will he? Sure he Right. Sergeant Reed. Welcome to Indianapolis. How's everything? All set. Good. Now, you uh, want to check into a hotel? Now, let's go right to the house. All right. We've got a car right downstairs. The street has two entrances. I got them both blocked off. I got a SWAT team standing by. I hope we won't have to use it. Matt Ballinger lives right there. Robbery detail. Good guy. We can use this place. Turner is staying just across the street, two doors down. Terrible crime, John. I hope we get him. Operator, I want to place a call to Indianapolis, Indiana. I want to charge it to my office. The number is 5556414. Lieutenant Walter Belden, New York Police Department. Yeah, the other number is area code 317. Get the other line here now. Go ahead. I'll hang on.
Hello? Johnny. Alice. Hey. No kidding. How you doing? Oh, I'm okay, Johnny. How are you? Oh, you know, not bad. I'm kind of surprised, though. I sure never thought I'd hear from you again. Really? Yeah, well, you know. Well, what am I going to do? Never talk to you again? I don't know. I asked Vicky to... I saw stuff got in the newspapers you'd send the cops after me. <laughs> but I didn't. Did I, Johnny? No, I was down in Florida. And they had New York papers there. Oh, I couldn't believe it. Believe what? What a big deal they made about it. They had pictures all over of everything. But you didn't believe me, did you? No, I didn't. You can't say I didn't, I didn't tell you, Alice. I know that. I told you I killed that girl, didn't I? I know you did, Johnny. Grafton? It's a go. Well, next time you believe me. I know, John. John Charles Turner here. I gotta go now, Alan. Bye. John Charles Turner? Yeah. You're under arrest. Take one step forward, put your hands behind your back. Thank you, sir. Did I appreciate that? Well, I will. I, I will. But look, I sure tell them when they do it wrong. I might as well tell them when they do it right. Yes. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And a happy new year to you, sir. Bye. It's going to take six football players with machetes to get that stuff off. I want to tell you not to worry about me, but it wouldn't do any good, would it? I love you a lot. Go on. Do good. I'll keep in touch. I expect you to. Hold it!